Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I, more than one time, more than ten times, I've been asked the question how much can you bend an end fed random wire antenna around and still have it work well? Um, by end-fed random wire, what I basically mean is uh, that the end of the you feed one end of the wire at the station with a transmatch, a wide range transmatch, and you ground it uh, the best that you can. A cold water pipe, if that's uh, the best you can manage. If you can manage a few radials lying on the ground outside your house, that's great. Uh, if you've got, uh, you know, whatever you can do for a good RF and DC ground at your station, and then you put the transmatch right in your station, and then you run the wire out from the transmatch, and all around and up and down and zigzag, and as high as you can get it, how much can you do that? You know, how much can you bend the thing and have it still work? Well, the answer to that, the short answer to that question is, there's only one way that an antenna is not going to work, and that's if you don't put it up and try it. <laughs> but I've had excellent uh, results by end feeding a wire antenna, a random wire antenna, throwing it over the top of a few trees. Uh, the ground wasn't even that good, as I remember. Uh, the best ground I could get was just uh, to the electrical system in the little cabin uh, up in Wisconsin uh, that I went to when I was a kid with my folks, and even occasionally when I was an adult when I lived in that area up near Hayward, Wisconsin. And uh, one, one time I remember going up and we had this what we called the little cottage. It was a boathouse with a little cabin over it. Didn't have a bathroom in it. You had to go to the main cabin to get to the bathroom. But, but I put up my ham radio station in there one summer, uh, and uh, one summer week or summer vacation. And uh, I believe at that time my radio was the uh, National Two Hundred. Uh, that I had uh, for a while. And I had a transmatch of a Viking, Johnson Viking matchbox rated at uh, one or two hundred watts. Uh, the National 200 had a hundred watts output and I ran that full hundred watts output to this very random wire strung up. I, I think I shot a bow and arrow or something over the trees to get the wire over the, or maybe I just threw a baseball as high as I could with a wire tape to it and pulled it down and all around and it went all over the property. That was back when we had the aerial television, aerial, you know, an antenna television, so I used to uh, have to choose my operating hours quite carefully or I, I would irritate my family. Never occurred to me to run QRP. Uh, I know for so long it just never occurred to me to try that uh, to get rid of some of these problems and to create a new challenge for myself anyway. But I remember working all kinds of DX with this antenna that was just about as random as you could get. But it was up fairly high, 30 to 40, maybe at some places 50 feet, ran all around and it worked great. I remember working in Europe and Japan and, and uh, other places all over the world that summer on 2015 uh, and uh, even 40 meters. But uh, those were the time. that was back before we had those new ham bands at uh, 17 and, and uh, what is it now, 30 meters, and 12 meters, and 60 meters, uh, but uh, that was also during a sunspot 
cycle peak, which we are not at now. But the answer to the my, the short answer to that question: How much can you bend of an infed random wire around, and, and how good a ground does it need, and and all of this? Well, the better uh, you can ground your antenna, your station, um, the better you'll results you'll get. The straighter you can make the antenna, in most cases, all other things being equal, the better it'll work. The higher you can get it, the better it'll work. But the only way it isn't going to work for you is if you don't put it up and get on the air. And a lot of times a band may seem dead just because everybody thinks it's dead and nobody's trying to call anybody. And then you call CQ and you get DX. <laughs> the, the weirdest things. That's what makes ham radio such a, such a fun uh, hobby. And uh, may it always be thus. Hmm. May it always be thus. So, go for it. Whatever antenna you can manage, go for it. Try Stick with QRP if you can. If you have an, an RFI problem or an EMI problem with your station or your radios. Whatever. Get on the air and try to make some contacts, and you will, guaranteed. And if you don't get on the air, don't try to make any contacts, I guarantee you, you won't make any. It's that simple. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV saying 73, which means best regards and so long, which... No matter what kind of ground system, antenna, power level, or whatever else, as long as I get on the air, it will translate to so long, did did da da da. That's did 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 da did da.